Uh, it's called Hack for a Cause. So these are my group members, myself, Gabriel, two other members who are not here today, Catherine and Yang Shun. So our beneficiary, uh, they had a beneficiary where we had to hack for. Uh, they are called Spring Residential Treatment Centre. They uh, support unsupported pregnancies and abused girls. Uh, so some of the problems that they were facing, just let me bring you through. So, some of the problems that they were facing were their donation page. So, the do the, this is their current donation page. You can see that it's lengthy, intimidating. You read chunks of information about what you're donating to, and then you fill up a form with your name, NRIC. So, user flow was congested, and we felt that we could make improvements to it. So, uh, so these are some of the problems that we faced. So, at the end, after proving that you're not a robot, um, and then you will click on the donate button and it will bring you to the PayPal page, which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we wanted to make it, and we wanted to make the user flow um, better. So Gabriel will talk to you about uh, how we managed to do, um, come up with some solutions for this organization. Yes. So our, don our solution was to revamp how Dayspring donors donate. So we have the live demo of our app. First of all, um, we made an interactive slider because we all want to know what our contributions do, uh, contribution do right? So you can slide it and see, let's say, if $3,000, you can help the girls with their residential costs and uh, making the donation experience more interactive. And we also want to make it convenient. So if you log in with your Facebook uh, page, it will automatically fill your name and the donation amount. So all you have to fill is your card details. That's the important bit. And you can also uh, make a monthly contribution so you don't have to log in every single time. And thereafter, we wanted to make donations meaningful so the users can submit a message to the beneficiaries, such as, you go girls. And it also be inspired by what others have sent. So lastly, we created an admin dashboard because Dayspring requested a way to easily visualize the donation data. So they can see the top three donors, new donors, and we also have a functionality to post the messages to Facebook. So it helps them drive their publicity. Unfortunately, we took down the Facebook page because, so that we don't impersonate Dayspring. So we can't show you the, day, the Facebook page. So yeah, therefore our solution is was just to make the day spring page more interactive, convenient, meaningful, dry publicity, and easy to visualize. So it, uh, it was a 12 hour hackathon, so our stack was pretty simple. We used Materialize for CSS, Plotly for the data visualization, Angular as our front end framework, Node for the back end, and Firebase for the database. So this is the evolution of our app. So you can see that in the first picture, it's, it's really the bare bone MVP. Uh, yeah. And then after a few hours, it became a slightly more pleasing. And finally, the final product that we just dem uh, sh demonstrated to you. So our takeaways from the Facebook hackathon were, that were the attitude of sharing. So Facebook flew down engineers from Menlo Park and we were really privileged to interact with them and they shared so much about their journey, not just in terms of technical but also how they became the coders that they were and we were very grateful to be able to learn that from them. We also learned that preparation before victory is important. So for this hackathon, they released the question early and they encouraged, uh, encouraged us to form groups before the hackathon. So we spent uh, the time before hackathon um, planning our user journey, planning the UI, and also contacting Dayspring to find out what were their needs. 
And lastly, we learned that just built it. So even though we only had like 11 weeks of coding experience and we thought that our product wasn't that good, but you never know unless you try and build something and yeah, who knows, you might win a Facebook hackathon. Yep, so any questions for us? No? If not, we'll hand over to the next speakers. Thank you. Thank you.